Hi, I'm Mihaela from Learn by Markley. I want to show you an easy technique to make uh, domed um, polymer clay beads using gold color um, metal bezels, like the one you usually use with resin. Um, we are also going to use a beautiful texture sheet to create a beautiful texture on top of the polymer clay. And we are going to finish the pieces using UV resin. So um, uh, I've made the first pieces using green polymer clay, passed on the larger setting uh, with um, some uh, gold gilding leaf um, uh, insertions. Um, and I also used a beautiful retro swirl texture plate that I received from Global Land. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate you this easy technique uh, using uh, purple polymer clay um, and another beautiful texture plate also received from Global Land. Uh, this time I'm going to use the Mandela floral texture plate. Um, first, um, you will have to properly condition the polymer clay, of course, and then I'm going to put some uh, gold uh, gilding leaf um, on top of the polymer clay and then I'm going to pass the polymer clay through the largest setting of my atlas pasta machine uh, as I said I'm going to use a mandala a beautiful mandala floral silicone uh, texture stamp to impress a beautiful texture into the polymer clay that uh, I decorated with gold gilding leaf uh, and then I uh, uh, I am using gold color mica powder to enhance the beauty of the mandala textured design use your blade to lift off the piece from uh, from from the tile So uh, first um, you'll have to press to use your fingers and in the same time push the gold color bezel into the polymer clay while in the same time you'll have to use your fingers to push the clay outwards to get a very beautiful domed effect. So uh, while I'm pressing the bezel into the polymer clay I am also using my fingers to press the clay outwards and get a very beautiful domed piece. And then you'll just have to use your craft knife to remove the excess clay. And I am going to use a blade to um, clean the margins of the piece on the back, of course. And uh, you'll have to make sure that um, 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 the, the piece is well connected temporarily connected to, to the gold colored bezel and uh, you can use uh, an old tooth brush that you are only using for polymer clay to texture a little bit the back because um, when pressing with your fingers on top of the polymer clay you might um, impress your fingers into the polymer clay so by uh, texturing the back of the clay with the tooth pick you will um, remove and hide such uh, finger prints into the clay. I am also going to use a um, rectangle shaped gold color bezel so uh, um, as you can see this idea works well with round um, bezels, with rectangle bezels, with oval bezels and also with hard petals. So these are the kind of petals that I've tried and square as well. And um, I liked the, um, the finished look of the pieces with these um, geometric bezels.
so again you will have to uh, in the same time press the bezel into the polymer clay while using your fingers to um, push the clay outwards from the back And when you have the domed, the desired domed effect, you can use your craft knife and remove the excess clay. And then again, you'll have to use a blade to um, clean uh, the back of the clay and do these um, uh, finishing touches for the piece. Bake your pieces for 40 minutes, let the polymer clay um, cool, uh, and then you are ready to uh, use the metal insertions and the UV resin to finish, to beautifully finish your clay pieces. Um, then I decided that uh, I should take advantage of the fact that I am going to finish these pieces with UV resin so I can add inclusion into the resin. Um, and so I'm uh, preparing tiny decorations. These are in fact nail art decorations and I'm prepar preparing such tiny decorations to add more interest to these designs. So uh, I'm uh, putting um, these um, um, tiny metal decorations on top, the, on top of the pieces to have an idea of the look of the pieces with these insertions. Um, and then I will just uh, pour some UV resin into, into a measuring cup and I'm going to use um, um, a brush to apply resin on top of the pieces. I'm not applying a lot of resin, I just want to have a um, a thin layer of uh, resin on top of the clay but I, I also um, uh, I'm also making sure that I I have uh, resin on the margins of the piece inside uh, the bezel because uh, I'm using this resin not only to have a, a beautiful glass-like effect on the finished pieces but also to make sure that um, uh, the, um, the clay will stick to, um, to the metal bezels, which would not really occur even after, the, after baking the pieces. Um, you will have to somehow glue polymer clay to metal and UV resin is a great um, um, way to, uh, to attach polymer clay to, to metal and then you will just have to use um, a, a UV lamp and uh, cure the pieces for 20 minutes. And here is the look of the finished pieces and I hope that you like this idea and I hope that you like the domed effect of, of the pieces and I strongly encourage you to uh, check Global Lens um, um, website and uh, I am sure you will find um, uh, a large array of beautiful texture plates that work um, that are great for polymer clay. Thank you and stay tuned for more inspiration for work with polymer clay.